Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very, very interesting and challenging system of equations. We have 2x over root y plus 2y over root x equal to 9, x plus y equal to 5. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by considering equation number 1 and 2. Square root x, square root y is there. So x must be positive, y must be positive for real solutions. Now let us use substitution. I will write root x is equal to a. That means a must be positive. Root y equal to b. b should be greater than 0. So from this I can write x should be a square, y should be b square. Let's apply. So I will write our first equation as 2 times x a square over root y b plus 2 times b square over a equal to 9. Or I can write a square over b plus b square over a equal to 9 over 2. Dividing both sides by 2. Now take LCM. So if I will take LCM, then I will write a cube plus b cube divided by AB equal to 9 by 2 or I can multiply both sides by AB. So A cube plus B cube will be 9 by 2 times AB. This is our first equation now after substitution. And second equation if I will write x plus y equal to 5, x is A square y is b square. So I will write a square plus b square is equal to 5. This is now our second equation. Let's solve. I will write here a cube plus b cube equal to 9 over 2ab. And second equation a square plus b square equal to 5. Now I will consider squaring of this equation and cubing of this equation. Let's do that. So squaring of a cube plus b cube. So I will write a square. So it will be a cube whole square a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 2 ab whole cube or a cube b cube. Right hand side will be I will write 81 AB whole square divided by 4. Cubing of this side, I will write A power 6 plus B power 6. A cube plus B cube is over. As per formula, 3 times AB. So 3 times AB whole square. A square B square is AB whole square. A plus B, which is A square plus B square. So I will write straight away 5 because this value is 5 equal to 5 cube. So 125. Now I will write a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 15 ab whole square equal to 125. Now here I can write a power 6 plus b power 6 equal to 81 over 4 ab whole square minus 2 times ab whole cube. Now you can see once I will give substitution ab equal to t. Let a times b equal to t. So a is positive, b is positive. This product must be positive. Condition on t must be t positive. Let's apply. So I will be writing a power 6 plus b power 6, this equation, equal to 81 over 4. This will be t square minus 2t cube. And this equation, if I will write, then it will become a power 6 plus b power 6 will be 125 minus 15t square. Now you can see both the equations, one side is a power 6 plus b power 6. Let's equate. So I will write 
this side must be equal to this side. Let's write 125 minus 15 t square equal to 81 over 4 t square minus 2 t cube. 125 minus 15 t square equal to 81 by 4 t square minus 2 t cube. Once you will simplify, take all the term to RHS, this equation will convert into 8t cube minus 141t square plus 500 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. If I will write the eligible factors of constant written term, so it will be plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4, plus minus 5 and so on. Leading coefficient plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. Let's plug in t equal to 1. Will it satisfy? So 8 minus 141 plus 500. No, it is not providing us RHS. Now I will write t is equal to 2. So 8 times 2 cube, again 8, minus 141 times 2 square, so 4 plus 500. So 64 minus 564 plus 500. Yes, it is giving us RHS 0. That means T is equal to 2 is our base solution. Now I will use SDM. Let me write all the coefficient of this cubic equation. 8 minus 141, 0, 500. Leading coefficient as it is 8, 2 times 8, 16. So minus 125. 2 times minus 125, minus 250. 2 times this value, it will be negative 500. Addition will be 0. Here we have coefficients for quadratic equation. Let me write 8t square minus 125t minus 250 equal to 0. Let's solve this first. Remember our first base solution is t equal to 2 which we will take up little later. So I will write 8t square minus 125t minus 250 equal to 0. Let's use quadratic formula. I will write t equal to minus b. So 125 plus minus under the root b square. So 125 whole square minus 4ac. So 250 times 4, 1000 times 8, 8000. Divided by 2a. a is 8, so 16. Now I can write 125 plus square root, 125 square plus 8000 divided by 16 and 125 minus square root, 125 square plus 8000 divided by 16. Now if you remember the condition on t was t should be greater than 0. So we will reject this solution as it will generate negative t value. So we will reject this one, reject it as this is negative. So which solution we are going to accept? It is 125 plus the square root of 125 is square if I will plug in the value then it is 23,000, if I will add completely, 23,625 divided by 16 equal to approximate value I am writing 17.419. It is approximate value of t. So let us consider two solutions, t is equal to 2 and t is equal to 17.41. t is equal to 2 and 17.41. This is approximate value. Now what was t? t was ab 
and if you remember our second equation a square plus b square was 5. So I will write two system. Let me write here a square plus b square is equal to 5 and ab equal to 2. First system and second system would be a square plus b square is equal to 5 and ab equal to 17.41. Let's solve our first system first. So I will be calculating b value from this equation. b will be 2 over a and I will apply here. So our equation will come out a square plus b square. So 4 over a square equal to 5. a cannot be of course 0. So multiply both sides by a square. So it will give quartic a power 4 minus 5a square plus 4 equal to 0. If I will factorize, I will be writing a square minus 1 times a square minus 4 equal to 0. So from here we are having a square is equal to 1 and 4. And this was our x because root x was a. So a square is x, 1 and 4. Now let me consider the second equation, then we will calculate y also. So I can write from here, from this equation, similar way, b will be equal to 17.4 over a, which I will plug in here in the second equation. So this equation will become a square plus 17.4 whole square. It will be somewhere around 303 divided by a square equal to 5. So the quartic which we will get a power 4 minus 5a square plus 303 equal to 0. Only check discriminant here. b square 25 minus 4ac. So delta discriminant is coming out negative. Complex solutions will be there. Complex solutions. So we will reject this system. So which solution or which x value we are going to accept? It is x is equal to 1 and 4. Let me write here. x is equal to 1 and 4. Now if I will calculate y from here then I can write this equation x plus y equal to 5. So y will be equal to 1 plus, so I will write 4 and here I will write 1. So in ordered pairs, I will write x comma y will be equal to 1 comma 4 and 4 comma 1. Let us cross check. This is our final answer. Let us verify. So I will write verification. Let me write here x comma y 1 comma 4 means x is 1 y is 4. So first equation 2 times 1 over root 4 plus 2 times y 4 over root 1. Check what is coming out. It is 2 over 2 so 1 plus it is 2 times 4 is 8. So RHS is 9. Second equation. X plus Y. So I will write 1 plus 4 equal to 5. True. So this solution is true. Let us consider the second ordered pair 4, 1. X comma Y. 4 comma 1. There is no need to check as equations are symmetrical. Let me check 2 times 4 over root 1 plus 2 times 1 over root 4. This is our LHS. So 8 plus 2 over 2 which is 1. It is giving us 9. That means first equation is true. Now let us consider second one. This is equation 1. Equation 2. 4 plus 1 equal to 5. Verified. That means two ordered pair 1 comma 4 and 4 comma 1 are the final solutions and this will bring the 
end of this video thank you so much watching friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye